Hey, are you mad at me? I got all of the birds in this house here. They're all lined up, all the cages are clean. I got their bowls. I'm gonna come back later and uh, regroup. Guys, you know what's insane? The doors are wide open. Like, it feels so weird. I'm like, there's a bird somewhere. There's gotta be a bird somewhere. Already the, the urge to kiss them has creeped in. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen. Welcome to my channel. Do not forget to hit that notification bell twice. Ding, ding and subscribe to the channel to make me happy. Okay, check it out. Uh, you guys know I have a lot of birds, but now I don't have any. But in all reality, I just wanna take the time while the birds aren't here to tell you what is going on. <sighs> Nothing that serious. I'm just like completely out of breath from moving all the cages outside. We are doing an extermination in the house. Now, to give you some quick and simple information. One, you never wanna have your birds in your house when you are exterminating. It's a hazard to them. It's dangerous to their little lungs, their little air sacs. You just don't wanna take that chance. Two, before you do any kind of extermination, I would start with some non-chemical things. Maybe if you have pantry moths, some moth traps. We'll go into more about that one day. Some natural ways. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like domestic, uh, domestic, this earth, damn it. I always say that wrong. You can try the boric acid. You could try a lot of different things just to make sure that like, for example, peppermint oil, if you have flying ants or ants, that tends to be really good. I actually use the Dr. Bonner sometimes and like put it in the drains because the ants and, and bugs don't like peppermint oil. In our house, we don't have screens on the doors and then most of our windows are doors. So it makes it very hard to prevent things from coming in and out and we obviously hesitate to exterminate because of all these birds. So that's where we are right now. Well, we have like a little cricket colony that's kind of uh, built itself up. Another thing is, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I asked them specifically like, I don't want anything sprayed outside because I want them to find some alternative. They said they have some alternatives because I don't want poison to be outside in the yard and have other birds eating it and dying and, and mice eating it and then the hawks or, or like the eagles or rare birds picking up that. Like I just really don't want any of that. So that's something to consider if you're going to get an extermination in your house. As far as the bird toys and things like that, we have everything sealed up in lids. I'm moving all of the cages out and I'll be washing all of the bowls. Where are the birds? They are all at a friend's house. We set up and washed all of the cages, moved them over there. If you don't know where else to put your birds, you can board them up at a vet. Probably most of you don't have as many birds as I do, but some of you probably do, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. Hey a friend, can you watch my bird? We watched Iluka, Megan's bird, while they were doing an extermination. All of the bowls, food, perches, all of that has to be removed from the premises. It has to be cleaned, it has to be somewhere sealed. Just be aware of what you have. Anything that's like paper or wood can really absorb that scent too and then they go chewing it. So if you have come home and someone's exterminated and you wanna throw all that away, I've heard of that happening to people where they come home and the roommate has exterminated. They knew enough to move the bird, but they didn't know they were gonna do it in a certain room. So you just want to maybe start afresh. This is also a good opportunity to start fresh. I know when George sees this wall now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets in the mode of we might as well paint the wall. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. How long should you have your birds out? We're gonna definitely have the birds out for at least 24 hours. The guy that came before, he said, oh, an hour is good. But again, like just don't put your birds in their hands. You wanna make sure also that there's no scent, no smell, 
nothing when you bring your birds back in. So that would be an important factor for you to know. The longer, the better, especially when you have smaller birds and they have like smaller respiratory systems, they're just highly sensitive. Also guys, don't forget to remember little things like their food. We store all of their food in a deep freezer just to make sure that there's generally no bugs in it. Some of the, like some of the larger nuts that we get for Rocky, you just never know. So we basically freeze everything. Don't forget the food, the food containers, all of that. Make sure you get it to a relatively safe place. Anything that they ingest, any vitamins, everything should just be thrown out and start afresh as far as the food and things that are in the bowls. You definitely do not want any exposure to any of that. Same with cuddle bones and calcium sticks and all that as well. Very important. <laughs> the spray in here because there's, there's a cricket just hopping around. You see? <laughs> it's just hopping around. Guys, like, and I didn't want to do anything because of the birds. Yeah. Well, sure. okay. Uh, so how long should the birds be gone for? Um, at least a day or two, depending on how- Or two? Or two. It's depending on how much you feel comfortable with it. Typically, legally, it's supposed to be about, I think, four to six hours, but I say a day, just keep things alive. Do they train you to tell people about birds? Um, if the, we are trained to ask for the birds and make sure there are no birds present. You are? Yeah. It depends on the company and what they want to do. Um, also, do you have traps for the flying ants upstairs? Um, we, I, or ants in general? Ants in general, what we These do These are not, like, I don't know if they're regular ants though. Yeah. They look like termites. Like yeah. things that have you seen, they, have you seen but, wings? Yeah, yeah. But there's they, wings. They right. follow an ant trail. Well, termites do too. They termites follow ants in a trail? No, but they look like ants and they follow each other. Yeah, no, I, I kind of see what, what you're saying, but my understanding is that termites wouldn't follow ants typically. Yeah, but these aren't little tiny ants. But I, do you think the other ones are also termites without wings? Baby ants, yeah, baby termites. No, they're ants. Baby termites. Do baby termites not have wings? Yeah. They have so no, but you no, have, baby no, you termites have. don't have wings. No, no, only the. Oh my god. <laughs> no, termites with wings and ants with wings are typically males, and so if you took a look at the wings, depending on if they're symmetrical or asymmetrical, or not matching, they it will tell you what species it is. I can't remember it off the top of my head because I'm kind of on the spot. Are but, there termites but without I don't, wings? <laughs> there are yes. And do they go in an ant trail? Typically on the outside, yes, if they're in their own colony. Inside. But inside, they if they're- They follow a path, they all follow a path. Termites do the same thing. They're new social insects, so they do roughly the same thing, so they look alike. Think about it this way. Termites are don't. actually ants. I can take a look But a little bit, they, they eat wood. I got a picture. Wood. If you have a picture? I got a picture. I can tell and you also, right now. And also, I want to tell you something. Yeah. They communicated. So when one was returning, it touched the face of every other single one. Mm -hmm. And that was cool. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, they're social. It wasn't like the ant just was like, oh, I'm coming this way and you're going this way. Yeah. It it touched it, the it face of every single one. ant. Yes, it says hi. Yeah, because it's trying, yeah, exactly. It's trying to say hi. It's just passing information real quick. Yeah, that and that's why I think it was an ant. Because yeah, the same thing. How do you know? What do you know I don't about think they termites? Do. I really don't think they do. No, they don't. I'm pretty confident. No, it's pretty much an ant communication. I'm pretty sure I think termites. It, I think, I think, I think it was. Talk to ants no. of Canada. <laughs> Did you really? Well, they're my friend. We collabed because he got a bird. Oh. I got a I picture of this so. ant thing, and yeah, you yeah, gotta take, solve it because because this is like a bit. If it's termites, that's a whole other problem. This is a wing shot. You see though, so, that's like an ant head right there. These look like ants. Yeah. Yeah, these are ants. Yeah, these aren't termites at all. Yeah, I know my stuff. Do you though? <laughs> I told you it was an ant. It's an ant. That's yeah, these an are ant ants. Yeah, these right are there. 100 ants. Yeah, I knew it from the first. Can day. I see those pictures? Yeah, yeah, they're totally doctored. Doctor. Yeah, you saw me doctor them right now. This is an ant. That's an ant. Okay. How do you know it's an ant? So, you see the wings? Yeah. They're symmetrical. I mean, termites are not. Yeah. They're slightly different. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about them that much, but she is. Okay. What do you mean? They co conglomerate all around my makeup. They're all over. They're all over. On your makeup? Yeah, and they disappear after like a day, but there's always like is one it, day every- Is it seasonal every... or is it just- is like... a little, it, Overall, it's seasonal, okay. but during the they, season- They have this moment where they do their thing and then they go away. From my understanding, what usually happens is, I think I was telling her slightly earlier, um, that there's like a mating season where all the male ants are just like flying all over the place and then they're not selected and they die. 
They're coming from somewhere. But the main point here Where are they coming is that from? I'm correct. Outside, yeah. He's like therapy for our the, ant the, problems. The grout? Hey. Are you mad at me? See daddy, her daddy? She heard you. Ah, she left, she's heard you. As soon as she heard you. Rocky, can you open this coat? I don't know. There once dwelled on this earth creatures so strange and wondrous that 65 million years after their extinction, they still excite the imagination of man. Join us now for this first time ever look at a world authentically recreated especially for this program. The world of the dinosaur. Who came to visit Leo? Hi baby, I see you. Okay. <laughs>